Hello, and welcome to Interactive Screen App Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the control panel. In order to make this video short, we will use the basic options and configuration on Admin Panel, but there are a lot more customizations that you can do with our app, and we cover these subjects in our advanced tutorial and documentation files on our website. After logging in, you will see a list of events. Here, you can select the one that you want to manage or you can create a new one. Now, let's create a new event. In this screen, you will see the basic settings related to the event. You can change these settings anytime you like. When auto approve mode is turned on, posts will be shown in event screen without any moderation needed. We suggest to turn this feature off in public events. Select the time period you want the post to be shown and select the maximum text character length. You can upload a background image and select the width and height options. We also have options to hide columns on moderation screen, so you can gain space by hiding unnecessary columns. We have a variety of different preset themes and custom themes. Custom themes allows you to have full control on width, height, and positioning of each element but these themes require more setups to be made, so we will use a preset theme in this video. Currently, we have three different transition effects and two transition speed options. Refresh cycle option defines the time gap between each slide. Advertisement frequency and advertisement sequence is used when you want to use inserted media to be shown between public posts. You can find more information about this subject in our advanced tutorial. Shuffle mode enables posts to be sorted randomly. When turned off, posts are shown by their submission time. When you've set everything, you can click the Save button and add your event tags.